Hi, welcome to the walkthrough of RPA Genie. In this walkthrough, we will learn about the environment activities under the system section. So first let's go ahead with get environment folder. The get environment folder gets the path of the specified system folder. So under the properties section, in the input special folder field, we can see a small down arrow. So once we click on that arrow, we can see a list of special folders. So for example, if we go with um, my documents here, uh, the path of the my documents special folder will be stored as a, as a string format to a variable which we are going to create using control plus k. So we we'll create a variable var folder path. Now uh, this activity will return the full path of the my documents folder and uh, store it as a string format and assign it to this variable. So now the which we can then uh, display in a message box. So I'll drag and drop a message box and type in var folder path. Click on save and run uh, the sequence. Here this is the path of the documents in my documents folder. Uh, so let's click on OK and we'll just try it for one more special folder. I'll go ahead with the recent uh, uh, folder. Click on save and run the sequence. So this is the path for the recent folder. This is the end full path which was uh, stored to this uh, fold, uh, this variable var folder path which then we displayed in this message box. So click on OK. Now let's see how the get environment variable activity works. Let's delete these activities for now. The get environment variable uh, activity returns the content of the specific variable from the environment. So before we give uh, the variable name in this property section, uh, I'll quickly show you how to get the variable names from the environment. So for that, in the taskbar, we need to, uh, in the search option, we need to type uh, system. So once the, this window opens, we need to click on advanced system settings. So here another window will pop up uh, saying system properties. Here there is an option uh, environment variables. You need to click on that. Now, here we can see a list of variable names and its value. So uh, now in who here, if we give a particular variable name, it will return the value of that. Uh, so here I'll give a variable name saying driver data. So here I'll give driver data and the output uh, which will uh, be in a string format that is the value will be stored uh, to a variable which we will have to create using control plus k so I will give a uh, variable by environment variable and we will display that in a message box So basically here we give in the variable name and the value will be a uh, value of the driver data which is this value will be assigned to this particular variable which we then can display in a message box. Let's see what it returns. Here you can see it has returned the value. Uh, this is the value of the variable and this is the uh, variable name that we give in this activity, driver data. And it has uh, stored that value in this uh, variable, var environment variable, which we then displayed in the message box. So let's click on OK and we'll go ahead and try it uh, with one more variable. Let's say the OS variable. So it should return windows underscore NT. Here you can see uh, we gave in uh, the variable name OS over here. 
and it has returned the value windows underscore NT which is the value so that's all for this video thanks for watching